Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, hello again. That's like third time for us in the same day because we're cooking our dinner in a slow cooker in the beef. We're cooking rice behind me in the oven. And we're going to start prep work for turkey for Thanksgiving. So, of course, uh, we have to do our Thanksgiving on Saturday because I have to work. But anyway, and we decided, well, I had recipe a long time ago. I tried that recipe. Back then it was the magazine Cooking Light. Now it's eating well. They have really good recipes. This one is actually from 2004. And I made that brine and follow everything you bake in the oven. But I want to tweak stuff a little bit. Because, you know, we live in a different world now. So I want to do the same brine. Going to do my turkey in the brine. Then I actually want to sous vide it. And after it's sous vide on Saturday, when maybe we will have a couple of people visit, I don't know yet for sure, we're going to smoke it, and that's going to be our turkey. And we're going to see, because that's we totally experimenting. I mean, we already tried the recipe, but because we're changing everything a little bit, and because we did smoked turkey before, we have a video on it. I, if I remember, I will post link under it, or just, you know, look in our videos, you can find it. So that's what we're going to do because we already tried everything. So what do we need for the brine? Eight cups of apple cider. I know I just was looking for something uh, in a store because I know they usually sell it around this time. So we need eight cups. I'm going to mix everything in a pot right away. So two. Now I need room so I don't lose count, you know. So four. All right, 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 we're almost there. Well, the spice is in here. I'm about to sneeze. Six. I thought that was a four cup. That's two cups. Oh. I, I got two cups because it's small. Oh. It's, this one is, I, I didn't use the four cup. One. Oh, okay. So, look, we still have some left. Now I have to figure out what to use this for. Moonshine. What's moonshine? We're not going to use moonshine. I don't know what it is. That's gonna happen, so we're gonna use these for something. I don't know for what. Anyway, back to turkey. So, oh, wait, that's spices. We need, wait, now I forgot. Two third, <laughs> two third cups of kosher salt. Dump it right there. Two thirds of sugar, just regular sugar, nothing fancy. Now we need. Uh, wait, I need to think how to say it. Coarsely crushed uh, black pepper, and I will be honest with you, you can you can just get something heavy, you know, some kind of hammer and just crush them. I use my grinder, just very little, just to kind of see, kind of just mm -hmm. a little powder it up, so it's in the big pieces. So, one tablespoon of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't sneeze in the food. I, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, one tablespoon of, of peppercorns, right? Uh, coarsely crushed. And same with allspice. Same thing. You barely, you know, hit them just to break them up. And now we need some ginger. And me, I always buy ginger and uh, then I throw it away. So last time what I did, I bought me a big chunk of ginger. I actually peeled it. I put it in a food processor and just mixed it till it's kind of grindy it's not really like a paste but it's like small pieces i just put everything in the freezer that way when i need it so approximately that much but in in recipe it actually says eight uh eight slices like one eighth of the inch thick so basically it's one inch right eight slices one eighth yeah. so about one inch of the ginger and i'm just gonna dump it right there now we need whole cloves they look like this like a little stick mm -hmm. see like this and we need six pieces i actually have seven because it fell out it fell out okay and two bay leaves now that's all ingredients for the brine now i have to boil it we just uh, boil it till all the sugar dissolves and salts it all dissolves Turn it off, wait till it's completely cool. 
And then we will come back because for the turkey, I already got two more oranges. That's going to be for later. But right now, I'm just going to put it on the stove, boil it till everything melts in it. See, other way to say it, melts, dissolves. Cool it completely off and we will come back when it's cold and we're ready to finish up the turkey. And Well, not finish up, but get it ready for the brining time. Any questions? Nope. Okay, well, you're getting better. All right, we got our turkey. It's supposed to be fresh turkey. That's how you get fresh stuff. Look, that's ice. I mean, the back is still frozen, but I want to do it all today. Now we need to get stuff out, and it's still frozen in there. I bought fresh one for that reason. Look, look at this. Ice. Ice. You know what's weird thing? Usually it has a little bag with all the guts. Mm -hmm. I don't feel it. Oh my I gosh. see the neck. You got the neck. I got the neck. Yeah, well, I'm trying to get it out. It's still frozen over there. Hmm. Yeah. Look. Hmm. I'm going to let it sit in the brine a little longer. Yeah. Can you see me or are you just showing turkey? I'm just showing turkey. Yeah, I'm just showing turkey. You can show turkey, but it's not too much fun. Look at it right now. Oh, wait, maybe it's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be right here. Yeah, it's still frozen. We bought it when? Friday it was a little bit and it's still I mean turkey takes a while. If it's frozen, it takes a while, but Man, look at all that excess skin. Right, there is my goodie bag. But wait, where is it? Where is it? I thought it comes out the backside. <laughs> there it is. Alright. Now Look at me. Look at you for Ooh. Sexy. <laughs> what if kids watching? Oh. Forget yeah, that, kids. I don't, I don't like that ice. Anyway, so this is my huge pot for that. That's what we're gonna do. Let me wash my hands really, really quickly. The only place your hands have been in, is inside the turkey. Well, you know all this salmonella stuff. So. Mm, yeah. Gotta cook Actually, it out. I'm gonna use food too. So. Because it's turkey. I mean, I'm ready to sanitize my car every time when I buy chicken. So. <laughs> Alright. So, next step. Our brine is cold enough. It's not like cold, cold. But it's good. Now we need those two oranges. We're gonna cut them in the quarters. Yeah, those oranges so so look. Look how much skin, but oh well. We're not gonna eat them anyway. That's gonna be just for flavor. They don't look all that juicy either. Well, they're juicy look at the mm -hmm. knife, but the skin is so thick. So here we go. Now, step number next. We take this, put it inside the turkey. See? I'm gonna put it one right here too. Let me put it like skin up and juices to the meat. So our turkey should be nice and clean and whatever you don't want, cut it off. Usually, you know, I never had any problems with those turkeys being like dirty or something. I'll put two pieces on this end. And I'm going to keep the skin so it holds it. Now, in original recipe it says use... Um, bags for um to cook turkey in the oven and i thought about it and i'm like well i'm not gonna do it but you can do it like take two bags put turkey inside of it and um then pour the brine now we have to put it in the well that's hard in a recipe uh, everything for 12 pounder we actually have a little bit over 17. I'm gonna brine it too. Oh well, right? Right. But this, that's all we can use for gravy. All right, I'm doing with turkey. I have to wash my hands again. Now, my ice maker better be full. 
because basically what we're going to do, pour that brine, add the ice, I need to make sure that turkey is completely covered in it. And this is our brine. It smells good. It smells. Mm. It smells good, right? Oh yeah, it does. It does. It, all the spices and apple cider. So, and I already made room in the refrigerator. Swiggle it's all the spices on the bottom. Because all this peppers and everything, see, it's all on the bottom. There we go. Yes, we don't want to lose anything. Go, oh, go, go, go. We need all this. And now, I'm just going to add a lot of ice. Well, I don't really have that much ice. I don't think my ice maker made that much yet. Look, look inside. See, so all of this is going to give that, uh, the turkey, the flavor, because it's going to sit in it for a minute. See, looks like the brine is only halfway up. Right, that's why we're going to add the oh. ice, and oh. it's going to melt, and it's going to make more liquid. That's what no. I was trying to tell you, but I don't think I have enough, so I'm going to have to add just water. Yeah, okay, look. Hold on, guys. So I might just add the water to make it. So anyway, let me put it back. Unless we go buy a bag of ice. Well, we don't have to haul bag of ice, but I mean, what's the difference? It's just, you know, to keep it cooling because my turkey obviously halfway frozen. But in ideal, ideal conditions, that's what you do. So you have that defrosted turkey, put it in the brine, add six cups of ice or you know and it's doing all of this in those bags and um, just put make double bags put one bag inside another then put turkey in it put all this brine in it and tie it down and put it in a pot well put it in a pot first so you know it fits and everything and then put it in a fridge for 12 to 24 hours and i'm thinking because mine is a little bit more frozen i'm probably gonna leave it not 12 24 but probably 24 to 36 because i want to I want to make sure that all the juice is in it, and again, depends how busy we're going to be, but minimum time, basically, 12 to 24, and because our bird is bigger, I want to do at least 24. I may do it actually 48 hours, because it's not going to absorb more than needed. Anyway, but right now, I think my best bet is going to be just go ahead and dump the water in it, and because it's, you know, a little concentrated, and that way it's going to swim in it. And get all the flavors and stuff and we're gonna see this turkey well in about 20 over 24 hours so let's zoom in on turkey and shut it off on the turkey we're gonna see how it turns on but that's how it looks yeah it's not much ice no it's not much ice i need more i need way more So that's going to be my setup for the turkey dripping pan and the rack so the air can circulate all around the turkey that's my turkey it's actually been in the brine for a little bit over two days because i was at work i was stuck and i had time to do this two minute thing and in the oven we're gonna have it on the bottom rack so it fits it's, yeah i just did another cook so but anyway, so I'm going to get this turkey, get all the oranges and everything out, and put it right here. And then we're going to see how it fits in the oven. So far we're looking good. I got the turkey on that rack. Tuck the wings, got the oranges out. Because it's going to cook on its own, no oranges, no nothing. So now we're going to see how it's going to fit in the oven. Give me a sec. All right, and our turkey is in. We have just a little bit of space. I actually had to push it down on it. If I took the rack out, it will be perfect, but I kind of pushed it down a little bit, so break the um, uh, ribs in, I guess, a little bit, so it kind of settled down. So now I have enough room, and um, 
This is just a little bit under 18 pound turkey. So it's 17 something pound. 17 point something. So now we're going to put it in for... I don't remember temperature, but it's going to be... I think it's once... I don't remember. 145? I think 145 for 20 hours. I'm going to get it right now and it's going to keep going. So I, I just have to do my measurements first to see if it fits and it does fit. So we're going to come back in 20 after 20, 20 plus hours of sous vide because tomorrow I have to go to work again and actually Thanksgiving is tomorrow, but I have to work, but we're going to do our own Saturday. So tomorrow, as soon as I can get it out, it's going to be out. So, but I have to make sure it has 20 hours. So 20 hours, and uh, as soon as I'm home, we're going to get it out, put it in the fridge. And on Saturday morning, we're just going to put it on a smoker, just a few hours, just maybe three, four hours, top, I think, top four hours. And I have ham in the project too. We're going to smoke this and the ham. And then our meal will be nice and ready. So that's all for now, and we will be back a little bit later. So I checked one more time and we're gonna do on sous vide mode and we're actually gonna do 150 150 and timer we're gonna set it for 24 hours so it's gonna be a second and then the steam which is this button we're gonna put it on a hundred percent and we're ready to cook sous vide as soon as temperature reaches Okay, almost there, almost there, 19, 20, 2, 3, 4, 24. Oops, actually go this way and it's 100%. So that's going to be our setting for the turkey, 150, 24, and 100% steam. So now we're going to get this going and timer should start when it reaches the temperature. So there we go. Now we wait 24 hours. Or till I get home and then we're gonna get it out and this is how we're looking after 22 and a half hours plus minus couple minutes so that's being in sous vide that's all these juices right there it smells really good it smells like apple cider so right now I'm just gonna let it cool and it's going to the refrigerator and today's today's actually thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving everybody but like i said we're not doing it because i had to work i just came home from work that's why it was not 20 hours which actually uh, uh when i was setting the timer for some reason i put 24 hours but yeah it's supposed to be 20 but i was thinking that with me working i may leave it for 24 and yes so that's what happened so it was 22 and a half and that's how we're looking for right now. And I'm thinking I'm going to move it to a different container, put it in the refrigerator and everything. Um, that's a little bit spices I have. And um, um, the juice, I may keep it. Well, I'm, I'm going to keep it for for real because it's just like, see, it's all nice and little, little um, you can see a little fat over there, like little circles with that. So I'm going to keep it for... For the gravy I'm gonna make gravy out of it and the um, next step is going to refrigerator and it's gonna chill there till Saturday because tomorrow I have to work again and Saturday I'm gonna get up in the morning and we're gonna throw it in a smoker just to get the color and to get the smoky flavor because it's already fully cooked it's all good to go so it will be very easy to finish and we will be back with that turkey on Saturday that's all for now and see you Saturday. All right, so here are my, well, ham is a different project. I'm not gonna have the video on it yet because it's another experiment, but there's our turkey and that's how it looks after sous vide. So it's fully cooked and all what we need just to add some smoke flavor. Right, sweetie? Right. Right, so we're gonna smoke it just for two three four hours we will see how it looks and we're gonna put it on our master build for i think 225 what oh, do you think you said 225 I you said yes 220. say 225 you can put it like 225 or 230 or whatever 
and now I'm watching those so they so they don't eat my turkey or ham. She'll go away. See, look, it's he's looking. eyeballing it. He's eyeballing it already. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be our next project. Well, not next project. It's the same project. It's just been a while since we're doing it. So like I said, now we're going to put this. And see, I have those pans with holes in it so it can get the smoke all around. And we're going to smoke both, both pieces. Ham probably will go in a little shorter. It's Like I said, it's another experiment. I may uh, post the video if it's if it turns out good. I may do the video someday on it. But for right now, we're experimenting with turkey. Can't do too many videos <laughs> at one time. Look at Lucy. <laughs> Where is she? Oh yeah. Spot the husky. <laughs> Spot the husky. There she is. <laughs> I'm balling that turkey too. Yeah. So anyway, so that's the project going in for, like I said, two three hours. We will see. And we will be back when it's done, and um, we will see how it turns out. That's all for now. I'll be back in a sec. And that's how we placed it. Pork on top, turkey on the bottom. You think it will uh, drip? No, I don't think it will oh, drip. Yeah. Temperature is low. Yeah, Why? It it's already drip. cooked. So, but anyway, that's how we're going to smoke it, one top of another. So we may have turkey with a little bit ham flavor. Smoke coming up underneath it, Richter. I can't see. Oh yeah, I see between the wings. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's 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 a smoke. So anyway, we're gonna uh, close it and see how it works. And see how it works. And there's our rooster. You may be next. We're about to add some more wood, wet wood, over there. And it's windy, and I don't like when it's windy because my smoke. Oh, <laughs> I'm just showing the back of your head, um, the bald spot. My bald eagle. Watch the smoke. Watch the smoke. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're Ooh, getting there. Yeah, good. we're getting there. Our ham actually was good. Eh, we leave it there because I'm too lazy to get it out. So that's how we're looking about, what, hour and a half later? Get in the picture. Oh, I got you in the picture. Is it cold? It's cold. Okay, well, fast. then speak fast. Speak fast, what? What do you want um, to tell you? Give me a report on a turkey and ham. It's right there. It looks good. Stop opening it. <laughs> it looks good, but um, it's been what? About an hour and a half? I don't know. About an hour and a half. So, okay, it's cold, so we're going back in. But it's about an hour and a half, and that's how it looks. Okay, we will be back soon with more updates. And this is our star of the table. That's our turkey. It's been smoked for about how long? Three hours? Three hours. About three hours. Or maybe two and a half. I mean, we really don't time it, but that's how it looks. It's a little nice and brown. It smells really smoky. That's what we got so far. And um, I'm sorry, but we're not going to do the update. That's, that's my ham right there. Um, which was smoked. I pulled it out about an hour ago. And uh, cranberry sauce from Costco because we, we've been working a lot. So we're cheating. And we have... <laughs> you want to say something? I don't like this kind of cranberry sauce. That's a good cranberry sauce. We tried it last year. Remember it was like really good? Stuff in a can. No, the I don't gel, like those. Gel, those. No, jelly stuff in the can. We don't like those. But um, for shortcut, this cranberry sauce is really good. We actually bought the stuffing because, you know, I was working a lot. And Mike, don't cook too much without me. But yeah, that's how our turkey looks like. And I have that little neck sitting right there. And it smells... It smells smoky. So I hope it's good. That's my raw potatoes in the background. Don't pay attention to this. Plus, we have uh, green bean casserole and mashed potatoes. And uh, we should be all good. And gravy, of course, and rolls. But that's kind of fast way. Not fast way, but um, pre-planned fast way for Thanksgiving. Look, look at him. He's moving everything around there so we can see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're spying on you. Yeah, cleaning the table. Good job. Anyway, so and that's how it looks at the end. And uh, we're going to get in. And I'm pretty sure it's good. But I, I will just write an update. Check the description. And um... <laughs> he just broke something. I don't know what he broke. 
but check the description for everything but yes i'm pretty sure that turkey is gonna be good it's like i said we just try to get some smoke flavor to it because it's fully cooked and there it is and we're gonna decorate and everything for when we have our fancy new house and new kitchen but for right now hey with working days that gonna do happy thanksgiving bye